Vitrification is a relatively new freezing technique which aims to avoid the formation of ice crystals inside cells when they reach temperatures below zero. It's a technique which protects them from being damaged. Vitrification techniques may be carried out on embryos or eggs. Once oocytes have undergone vitrification, they do not deteriorate with the passing of time. They remain in exactly the same conditions as when vitrification took place and can therefore be frozen for an indefinite period of time. Fertility is not affected by a cycle of ovary stimulation with a view to egg vitrification. When a woman does not have fertility issues, the ovary has sufficient ovarian reserve. There is no minimum or maximum age for undergoing oocyte vitrification. It's true that good ovarian reserve and good quality oocytes are necessary for guaranteed results when freezing. This is usually the case in younger patients, but each patient and each case differs. The age for becoming a mother is not determined by the eggs, since they will be exactly the same as the day when they were frozen. The age will be determined by the mother. That is, the maximum age will be the age at which the mother can undergo a healthy full-term pregnancy which does not present risks for her or for her baby. That maximum age is currently considered to be around 50 years. It's a very simple process. It requires neither hormones for ovarian stimulation nor complex treatments. The only necessary step is preparation of the endometrium, which is the part of the uterus where the embryo will become embedded, and this needs to be done under the best conditions possible. When everything is ready, the oocytes will be fertilized, and once embryos have been selected in the laboratory, they will be transferred to the uterus. There are no specific side effects to freezing oocytes. The only side effects which may be observed are those which occur as a result of controlled ovarian stimulation. But even if the aim is to undergo egg vitrification, the procedures will be carried out in such a way as to reduce possible discomfort to a minimum. Children bo born following in vitro fertilization with vitrified oocytes present no differences to children born following assisted reproduction treatments without vitrification. Therefore, egg vitrification has no impact on the unborn child. The advantage of vitrification in cases of patients who undergo tr cancer treatment is that prior egg vitrification can prove to be extremely useful in attempting to preserve the fertility of those women who need to undergo chemotherapy or radiotherapy which can affect their ability to reproduce. Scientific progress and the extensive experience of our team of biologists in vitrification techniques mean that we have high survival rates of around 95%.